Two Gents opened in 1971, the same season as Follies, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Grease. And it was actually Two Gents that walked away with the Tony for Best Musical. What? Um, you should look at this poster. I'm obsessed with this poster because at the bottom it's like, see it at the St. James. Find the cast album. And now we have like Facebook and Twitter right there. And I'm kind of obsessed with that. Also, I have this script right here at Nipple Joke? Question mark. So, you take what you want out of it. Well, we asked the question, how many Broadway show posters have nipples on them? <laughs> so think about that. <laughs> because of David, whatever. Anyway. Did you finish, did you finish that? Uh... I did. <laughs> Perfect. Broadway uh, The musical opened as part of the public theater Shakespeare in the Park. Uh, it was written by Gus Dermott, who was the writer of Hair, is the writer of Hair, Dude, and Via Galactica, our favorite. Uh, the show was a huge hit in the park, and Pat wanted to bring it to Broadway. But when Pat had brought Hair to Broadway, he'd licensed it to an outside producer, Michael Butler, and thus the profit for the public was minimal. This time, Pat was determined for the public to get all the profits so they could continue the work that he believed in. Um, and he convinced one investor, the Western Mertz, to put up the entire capitalization for the production. But when Two Gents started on Broadway, sales were poor. Broadway didn't know what the public was. Think about that. That's crazy because the public is this huge thing to us now. Um, but when the reviews came out, um, it, the, the tune changed, and then they won the Tony. Isn't that cool? Uh, Chris Large Pat phone. <laughs> Shakespeare contemporary. That was how they articulated that with that illustration. Uh, <laughs> the show was cheerful, spontaneous, and a crazy happy time. One critic said, the slightly sweaty charm that was enchanting in the park is just as charming and sweaty in the upholstered plush of the St. James. 
This is exactly what we have going on there right now. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> Sweaty charm. <laughs> My favorite kind. Um, the show starred Raul Julia, and Jerry Stiller was actually an original park cast. In the finale, family cast on bicycles, blowing soap bubbles, skipping ropes, snapping yo-yos, and throwing frisbees. I feel like Equity would make you fill out some paperwork if you want us to blow bubbles. Like Hazard that. pay? Actors blow bubbles. Then. I don't know, Equity. You missed, no, just um, And it really was the joy and irony of Shakespeare translated to the graffiti urban streets of 1971 with songs like Bring All the Boys Back Home. Very political. 